You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Dance Moms After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Dance Moms After yeah, Show. Get on the Living on the dance floor. Get up, get up, ow. Floor, floor. Can I just tell you, that is awkward <laughs> by yourself. I feel like one of those crazy people that's just entertaining themselves. Hello, After Buzzers. Bing is for doing, and we are doing, well, I am doing another after Buzz After Show for Dance Moms. As you can see, I am all by myself. Jason Carter, Giselle Yagardi, and Chris Congero are all gone. They are working, and right now, y'all can have several seats for leaving me by myself. Uh, but today, we will be discussing Dance Moms Season 3, Episode 31, the Dancing Dead. We are still in season three of Dance Moms. We still have more episodes to come. So, without further ado, since I'm by myself, I am live tweeting. Giselle usually does it, but I figure I need somebody to talk to. So you can tweet me at Lounging with Tony, L O U N G I N W I T H T O N Y. Tweet me because the only person I'm talking to is me. And holding it down in the booth is Marissa. What's up, Tony? How you doing? I'm good. You know what? I don't think I introduced myself, did I? Yeah. Well, I think everyone got the idea. You're Tony. It's Tony. What's it's up? me, Tony Moore. Tony yeah. Moore. Yeah, by myself. I feel like I'm about to sweat bullets. But here we go. All right, so let's get into And then sometime we're, uh, during this, we're going to have a, hopefully, a little chat with the one and only Miss Abby Lee Miller. She's going to call in. And we're going to chit chat and discuss Dance Moms and all things Abby. Um, but until then, let's get into the pyramid. Uh, we started off with the bottom row with Brooke, no surprise there, and Paige. Um, yeah, I have no idea why they're even still a part of the pyramid if they're not even on the team anymore. Abby keeps saying that they're not a part of the team, yet they still remain on the pyramid. Think about it. Uh, then we had Peyton. It is not Kendall. It is not Brooke. It is not Paige. It's not Mackenzie. Maddie. It is Peyton. She's Peyton. And the reason why she was there was because of that smart mouth. And I believe she belongs there because um, she is, what, 15 years old? You do not need to be talking like that. My mama used, would have uh, hit me in my mouth if I even fixed my mouth to say something backwards like she did. So, Peyton, you, are, you should feel very lucky to even be in the room for the pyramid, let alone dancing with the Abby Lee Miller company. Uh, then next we had Asia, which um, Christy with a K kind of had a tiff about um, McKenzie being higher than Asia. Um, I have to agree with Abby in saying that Asia belonged where she was and Asia and Mackenzie should have been in the top because Mackenzie did do a great job. She did all of the acrobatics and, and things like that in the in the group dance. Um, so she belongs a little bit higher than Asia. Sorry, Christy with a K. Love you and your ponytail, but she belongs up there. Um, then we had Chloe, um, who is doing a fantastic job. Um, surprisingly, next we had Maddie. Oh, a fall from grace. Poor Maddie. She used to be on top. Now she's not towards the bottom, but she almost slightly working herself there. Um, but I think Abby is doing it with 
great intentions because you can't keep rewarding someone for being so good. You then have to continue to push yourself. And I think when you're any performer, you have to push yourself. You can't rest on just one ability. No performer, um, no performer can stay consistent. You have to continue to, to push yourself. Beyonce wouldn't be Beyonce if Beyonce did not continue to push herself. Beyonce is not the same crazy in love Beyonce. She's not the same Sasha Fierce Beyonce. She keeps growing and pushing herself. I only use that as an example because I am a Beyonce fan, obviously. Um, so you do have to push yourself. So let's see where uh, what's going to happen with Maddie. Uh, then we have Kendall, um, who is next up. And then, yay! Finally, little Miss Nia is up at the top. And um, that is because she was the only kid after the competition to ask Abby, what could she do better? Great job, Nia, because we see that Nia is doing her best to improve, um, taking the extra classes, uh, being there during the time off, asking Abby, what can, what can she do to improve? That's how you show that you want to do the work. Um, so I think... Some people should take note and see what Nia is doing um, because she is definitely doing the right things and she definitely uh, deserves to uh, to be there. Um, so then uh, this for the next competition, they're traveling to Orlando, Florida uh, for expressions. And uh, we have Chloe, Kendall and Nia um, all with solos. Everyone is in the group dance. Um, and then there is Leslie. Leslie is one of the thirstiest dance moms I have seen. She needs to find several seats and sit in all of them because she is doing her best to be a part of this team. Granted, I understand that she's trying to be a part of the team because this is a wonderful opportunity for anyone's kid. I get that. But sometimes you just have to take it day by day. You can't just come aboard and think that you are owed something and that you can just automatically be a part of the team. Right now, as I see it, she is simply a replacement because I think at the end of the day, no matter how Abby feels about Kelly, I think she would still bring Brooke and Paige back because it's she doesn't have anything against Brooke and Paige, except the fact that they need to work harder. Um, the issue is really between her and Kelly, but I think she would bring Brooke and Paige back in. That means Leslie and Peyton, you are out. Um, so Leslie, stay in your lane. Realize that um, even though you are trying so desperately to be a part of the team, you are merely just a replacement. And you're going to have to deal with that. So sorry about it. You are coming across as very, very desperate um, to be a part of the team. Rightfully so. But um, but yeah, have a seat. Um, so then we, we, we revisit um, a few episodes ago, long episodes ago, um, Abby decided to have Broadway Baby preserved. Now, in my opinion... That's just a little weird because I can't imagine something that I absolutely love being stuffed and sitting in the living room, not moving. This is not a stuffed animal. This is not, this is something that was once alive and now standing there, sitting there stuffed in your house. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I couldn't do that. Mm -mm. It would scare me because I may come home and think, oh, did, oh, you're dead. See, and you can't do that. You you can't. Mm -mm. So kudos to her for doing it. But I I think it would it would freak me out just a little bit. Um, but with that, um, as I said earlier, Nia had uh, got one of the solos and her tribute. Uh, her dance solo is for a tribute for Broadway Baby. I feel like that's a lot of pressure to put on Nia. I mean, we all know how close Abby was to Broadway Baby. Um, this is still near and dear to her heart. And even in this episode, you can still see that she's taking it uh, very, very hard, um, the passing of Broadway Baby. 
So um, that's a lot of pressure. So Nia, good luck. <coughs> Ooh, I got a little tickle in my throat. Let me drink some of this lovely tap water provided by AfterBuzz TV. This is too much, Marissa. I feel like somebody needs to come and conversate with me at some point in time. So if you are listening, make sure you live tweet me at Lounging with Tony. Uh, so that way I can speak to someone besides this hot, humid room because it is hot in here. Chocolate melt. And I feel like in a second, I'm about to be a puddle of chocolate just lying across this little table here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So um, we also saw Abby's mom. And happy belated birthday to Abby's mom. She had a birthday this week. Um, girl looks good, Miss Abby's mom. She looks really good. Um, and I can see where she gets some of her sassiness from because during the competition, yep, I'm jumping all around, um, she had some words for Kelly saying, I just don't understand how somebody so rude can just come up here and uninvited. And I was like, all right, speak your mind and say what you got to say. Um, but she was, she's such a dear. So, um, Happy belated birthday to Abby's mom. Um, I love during uh, when the guy brought out Broadway Baby Preserved. Um, Abby had her moment. And then she said one of the best lines I've heard in a while um, regarding Broadway Baby. She had a good life, but I should have put her but I should have put her in commercials. If that wasn't a moment where you saw Abby Lee Miller snap back into the regular Abby Lee Miller, that was it. So uh, so I agree. Broadway Baby was cute enough to be in commercials. Now, Abby, don't you try to put that preserved dog in nobody's commercial. I'm watching you with that. Um, so then also, Kelly had this meeting with the moms. Um, and she only invited Christy, Holly, and Jill, leaving Melissa, Christy with a K, and Leslie out. Um, I feel like, um, it was definitely uh, Leslie and Chrissy with a K are not close enough to even be invited. We all know Leslie ain't trying to go over there. Um, but I feel like it was definitely intentional for, um, for Kelly to leave Melissa out. We have a caller. So it sounds like we have a caller on the line. Hello. Welcome to after Buzz TV. This is Tony. Who is this? Abby Lee Miller. Shut up, Miss Abby Lee Miller has actually called in. How are you? Oh, busy, busy, busy. You are busy. Catch us up. What is going on with you and your life and all that stuff? Oh my goodness, are you kidding? Just a little that would bit. Take hours. Give us, give us just that a little bit, hours. Abby. You got to give us a little something. Oh, it has been one heck of a few weeks here. Yeah. Uh, we we were in Vegas shooting. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Stays in Vegas. But I but I will tell you that my other kids, uh -huh. kids you don't see on the show, here and there you see them, who have nice moms who pay their bills on time and do what they're supposed to and <laughs> are very respectful. Those kids uh, went to a competition the same week that the competition kids for the television show, Dance Moms, mm. cast, were in Vegas. Mm. So I was doing double duty. And uh, let's just say we hit the jackpot. Oh, look at that. Well, yeah. congratulations on that. Thank you. It's been, it's been a great few weeks. Good. Now, Abby, do you feel like on the show, because I feel like everyone thinks you are just the meanest dance teacher out there do you think you're you're oh, I, fully... could, I could name 20 other mean dance teachers <laughs> <laughs> are you are you the nicest of them all no but you know i get results yeah i my alumni that uh, you may know but i don't think that mid-america realizes that I do train dancers. And when I started out, mm. I, you know, my goal was to create employable working dancers. Mm. That's different from just being an amazing dancer. Right. There's lots of amazing dancers out there without a job. Yeah. Uh, I know a few. You know, my kids, knock on, <laughs> <laughs> my kids, knock on wood, are working usually. Yeah. And, 
you know, I have a new boy. He, or not new, he was he's been with me since he was a little, little boy. Mm. And he graduated from high school in June. Mm. He was with us for nationals through July and August. Mm. Came back to the studio in September, took class. He did Radio City Christmas show October, November, December. Mm. Came home December 25th back to his parents' home in Pittsburgh. Mm. And January 3rd signed his first Broadway contract for Newsies. Wow. So now, then, he, he makes more money than his mom and dad put together. So, <laughs> and he's doing what he loves to do. And yeah. he had no further education than my dance studio. Right. So then, so what were... He was, se- never in, he was never even in a high school musical after school, ever. There you go. So then you are producing results. So what we're seeing is the passion that you have for these kids to be successful and not just a mean lady. Well, let's remember, the kids did not audition for the show. Mm -hmm. Only Kendall did in Mm -hmm. season two with Peyton. But the original cast kids, they, you know, they came along for the ride. Their mothers were cast on the show. Right. Uh, You know, the the show was called Dance Moms. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be 85% about the moms. Mm Mm-hmm. 10% 10% about the kids and 5% about the dancing. Right. I was, I wasn't even in that equation. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it, it morphed into something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but originally, you know, the kids sent in a videotape or, you know, uploaded uh, footage of them dancing. Mm-hmm. And, um, some of the producers and some of the people that, that work for the network that look at the show don't know dance. Right. They don't know it like I do, and they don't know it like the creator, um, John Carolla, mm-hmm. the, the, the idea man, who, who you know, walked in, thank God, and, and met with Brian Stinson, who's also a producer, and then walked into that production office one day with this idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he was Mr. Dance of America. He knows dance. I know yeah. dance. So it's, it's not easy to do four new numbers every single week. Right. And we're going on 80 weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Yeah, y'all are going for, this is this is 31 episodes. I, I Y'all have got to be tired. And there's still more in this season. What were y'all thinking? I, well, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> you know, I don't understand. I don't understand how the good wife is 13 times. Juliana Margulies is on TV 13 times. And I'm on TV 80 times. Yeah. But that, but that's good for you and the Abby Lee Miller Company. So, more, more power to it. More, more dance. If if we're gonna sit and watch, which we do, we are going to watch it. So, now I guess everyone really has a question: Are the moms really like how they are on TV? Are they just these bitter women who are consistently arguing and complaining about everything? They are worse. <laughs> so TV is showing them in a good I, light. I don't know. You're laughing, but I'm not. They are worse. <laughs> oh my god. They are rude. They are arrogant. Mm. They are some are uneducated. Mm-mm-mm. Uh they Let's just say some were on their way out of the studio mm-hmm. and not by their own choice. But some before the show happened, they were, uh, you know, not paying the bills on time, mm-hmm. not paying with checks that were good, you know, stuff like that. People still pay with checks? Well, they did that, yes. We're in Pittsburgh. Oh, you oh. Know, we, gotta, we need a while to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> now, it seems hey, like... We can put a new heart. We can put a new heart in you. And you should be out walking around in like eight hours. Uh, but when it comes to other things, <laughs> not so fast. <laughs> now, it seems like you and Kelly have such a long, long history with each other. How is your relationship with Kelly now? Is it still on the outs or is it mending? Is well, it do you just don't care about it? I... I want my kids to be the best that they can be. Mm -hmm. And if that's not in your game plan, if that's not your dream, 
it's exhausting trying to make it your dream. Yeah. So if you want to go do something else, go do it. Mm-hmm. You know, get an attorney, get the paperwork done, get off the show. Because mm-hmm. there's about 1,800 kids behind you waiting to take your spot. I want a spot, Abby. Can I have a spot on the pyramid? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can I have one? Listen, I'm trying. I'm trying to get on the show so I can beat Maddie. I just want to. I want to show Maddie that I can be on the top of the pyramid too. You think you can beat Maddie? Nope. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. Listen, she is. She is a little tiny top for Christ, and I cannot. I, some of the stuff that she does, Abby, I don't think I will ever be able to do. Well, I am. We just had the national finals. We just shot the national finals, and I'm not going to give it away. Mm-hmm. But I am praying that the network airs the entire solo this... because they are wreaking havoc on our choreography. You know, they they edit for time's sake. I get it, mm-hmm. but they edit the choreography, but they don't edit the music in the in the same way. Right. So you know, we're choreographing something about you know, you're back up against the wall. Mm-hmm. And then she does a movement like where she turns her back or she arches or whatever. But when they cut it, they leave the words in, mm-hmm. but they cut half of the half of the choreography out. Mm-hmm. So she's doing like a side aerial and it's talking about your back up against the wall. Mm-hmm. It, like, it, it, it makes us look ridiculous. So that really bothers me that there's not, you know, a dance consultant brought yeah. in to look at the footage. But and hey. we we mentioned that here too that it bothers us that we we sit and we try to actually watch and observe like the solos and the group dances and we can't really get a good feel for them because of the way that they're cut and then by the time we right. kind of grasp it it's over and it's like <gasps> but okay and we just have to kind of accept it and move on so no don't accept it write to them write to not write but email them post mm-hmm. it tweet it. They're very, very, very conscious of social media. Yeah. Especially lifetime. Yeah. You know, all you have to do is say, well, I'm going to tweet that. And it's like, whoa, oh, they, they, they run shit. So I, see. I think that uh, if, you know, they hear from the fans mm-hmm. that they want to see the whole number yeah. and that they want to see the, the choreography, you know, from like shoot it from the front, shoot the whole stage, let us see. You know what, what the jump is or the leap. I mean, they well, that's okay. They they miss a lot. Yeah. So and then I've talked to the cameramen, and they say, Abby, we're not missing it. We watch it in rehearsal all week. We mm. shoot the rehearsals. We know it. We know the number. It we're getting it. They're just not using it. So, so. after buzzers, if you want to see the whole dance, make sure you tweet to at uh, Dance Moms or at Lifetime TV and let them know that you want to see that on dance moms so we have power and yeah. numbers when it comes to social media so we're gonna get on that um okay good abby now leslie has made her debut once again on the show can i just say i don't i don't really particularly care for leslie um i am not a big fan of her she seems so desperate to be on on your team and and knock out Paige and brooke is she on the team and is she or is she just merely a replacement a filler because i feel like she's a filler she is a filler Mm -hmm. she is a replacement uh leslie has an older daughter Mm -hmm. who works and is becoming quite successful in la good who's gorgeous very talented Mm -hmm. um you know peyton is a strong dancer she doesn't have the feet. She doesn't have the legs. She doesn't have the flexibility. Mm-hmm. But that kid is like an Asia with the work ethic. Mm-hmm. She comes in. You know, she's early for class. She's warmed up. She's ready. She gives you 110%. Mm-hmm. Uh, Peyton is very good in a scholarship audition type setting, like at a dance convention, yeah. which we attend, which we, they never shoot on the show. Mm-hmm. For any reasons that they, they can't shoot it, but she's my big scholarship winner. Mm. So she's like in your face, mm. and the mother is the same way. Yeah. Now I will tell you that oh, up until last week, uh, the mother was an advocate for me. She follows the rules. Mm-hmm. She 
um, respects the other faculty members at my studio. Mm. She is grateful for every opportunity that her child or children receive. Yeah. Uh, you know, the other mom's artist. Yeah. She just, well, she mentioned in this last episode that she's all, she's going to be up front and it's all about her child. So whatever she has to do for Peyton to get the opportunities that the other moms and their kids are getting, she's going to do it. So, well, I mean, I don't, she does drive. She's been coming to my studio for years mm -hmm. and they live, uh, you know, over an hour away. So she drives four days a week over an hour each way. That's a lot of traffic. gas. Um, you know, she's a good customer. Yeah. Um, so and they, and they have a fabulous restaurant here in Pittsburgh. So, <laughs> <laughs> Abby, what do, do you attend that that restaurant a lot? Is that is that is that a plug for the restaurant? Well, sometimes you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm with you, Abby. If if I can go somewhere and get a free meal, trust and believe you're gonna be my favorite restaurant. I'm be sitting right there. You're gonna know my order. You can just bring it to me. Don't bring me no bill though, because you should be able to take care we'll of it. Give, See you in we'll class. Give We'll give them a plug. We'll give them a plug. It's called Luma. Luma. L -U -M -A. Luma. And is it, where is it at? It's in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. It's in um, the South Hills. Okay. So if you are in Pittsburgh, go to Luma in South Hill and say that yep. Abby sent you. Now, just because you said you that, go. your meal is not going to be free. So you're going to have to pay. <laughs> but enjoy their lovely menu. Um, now, in about a month or so, Abby, you have season two of Ab Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. So congratulations oh, on that it. season two. I'm looking Thank forward you. to it because those little girls on season one were everything to me. I still love, 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 love Madison. That she, She's one uh, of my well, favorites. Can I just can we talk about Madison? Yes. I love, 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 love Madison as well. Mm -hmm. And Madison is in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. She is uh, a student of people that I've come to know since her being on the show. Mm -hmm. And I just recently saw Madison. I worked with her. They actually brought her to Pittsburgh mm -hmm. to be a replacement on the team. Mm -hmm. Madison was here at my studio working and it didn't work out. Oh. Something kind of happened and they shipped her and several other kids from ADC home. Oh no! Uh, I can't let the cat on the bag yet. Yeah, but don't don't you do it. You have not seen the last of Madison. I hope not. If she looked good, if she looked good on the show, mm -hmm. she looks amazing now. Oh, I was living she, for Madison. Just, I can give you a little secret. Okay. Um, because this didn't happen off camera. This happened like really in my studio. Mm -hmm. Um, they were doing a routine, and and Madison had this turn section mm -hmm. and Brooke just sat down on the floor and watched her with her mouth hanging open. <laughs> well, finally you got a different expression from Brooke. Cause the one we keep getting oh. is that she just <laughs> doesn't care about anything. <laughs> Nothing like every time. I don't know. Now I don't know if, if it's editing or what, but every time Brooke was standing there for the pyramid, whenever she was standing there for rehearsals, everything, it was the same face. Like I really just don't want to be here. But That's apparently, I have to I be. Get. And it was even. And imagine, go well, ahead. imagine being a teacher. I mean, I've been mm -hmm. teaching for thirty-three years. When a kid is yawning in your face, Ooh. when a kid looks at the clock, when a kid stares at you like, look, they don't want to be there. No, they don't. They absolutely don't. And I don't even know about this singing career because when she was in the recording booth, she had that same face. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody, Brooke. If you are watching, love you to pieces, but find she something. She, she is a good kid. Like, you know, she's a nice, but, nice little girl. But the thing is, is when I hear that Beyonce, you know, took a year to make a new CD and Kanye West is working on a new You know, you hear of that. This, mm -hmm. People take a year to come up with this album and they're in the sound studio working, working, working. Mm -hmm. I think for... Did ten songs in five days, and she doesn't read sheet music. So I'm not really mm. sure what's mm. happening there. Mm. I just, <laughs> but I will tell you that I have a voice teacher in my dance studio uh, for convenience sake, and we have a lot of kids that sing, oh, and we have some kids with incredible voices. 
and a little dancer just went in uh, last, like two days ago, mm -hmm. and the voice teacher came out of the room with a kid and said, Adele can retire. Oh. That this kid's voice is amazing. Not Adele um, can retire. Brooke does not study voice at my studio with our voice teacher. So she, I really don't know anything about it. Well, I, I'm going to tell you about, uh, never mind. She is too young for me to, to say. And I'm just going to say, bless your heart, Brooke, and find something that you enjoy doing that will change your face into something different. Okay. So, yes, let's leave it that. Yes, <laughs> yes, bless her heart. So, um, Abby, anything that you can I don't tell know us? If that's going to project out to 30,000 people in an arena. Just not sure. Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm. Maybe <laughs> in the backyard of Pittsburgh <laughs> with a couple of lawn chairs, a couple of burgers and hot dogs go. on the grill. There you go. Um, but you know what? If they got hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill, I'll come watch it perform. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, any anything you can tell what us about? Me even more is that Paige is going to be, you know, the the backup dancer. That's oh, not, no. not happening to work this morning. Oh, I I really <laughs> hope we don't have the uh, later beginnings of a Rosie and Sophia Grace, like the Ooh. older version. Oh, <laughs> we're paid. Got the big part though. What? What? She Sophia Grace. She just got the. Red Riding Hood. That's Disney, right. In, into the woods. That's right. I did read that. And I know. And, and where's, where's Rosie? Where's little Rosie? Her little sidekick. I don't, well, she left her in the nest. I, don't, I never got the sidekick. It's like that man and Robin. <laughs> Nobody cares about the sidekick. So no, uh, no. Um, is there anything you can tell us about this season of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, which will premiere yes. on september I worked, 3rd i worked my ass off oh yeah it was ex oh my god the first season i was only at work twice a week mm -hmm. so i got to you know live that hollywood lifestyle i oh, was yes. going to all the kissing suites and i was going to you know get the facials and mm -hmm. hanging out with my new new socialite you know movers and shakers in hollywood all these women that i'm friends with mm -hmm. and then i came back this year and I work every single day. Yes, you are busy. And busy, busy, busy. And it was hot and it was sweaty. Mm -hmm. And we moved from the downtown theater over to um, Glendale Studios. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't run down to Santee Alley and shop every day on the lunch hours. <laughs> I was bad. I hated it. And, um, you know, it was a lot of work, but the kids were incredible. No, I'm not going to say all of them, uh -huh. you know, because if they were all, you know, if they were all Maddie's, it would have made it too difficult to send anybody home. Yeah. So you kind of have to have, um, you know, some weaker players in there mm -hmm. to make it a competition. But uh, the, the mothers were... As crazy as the mother that gets burned, but let's leave that at that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the kids are a little older than my kids. My kids are getting older, too. Yeah. And, you know, the eyes are starting to roll. And mm -hmm. the, They're the getting at that age. a little sharp. Yeah. Yes. So uh, these kids and their moms, what I love, is they are oh so respectful to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I walk in and they're like towing the line and straight up and fly right they're good yeah but when i'm not in the room they're like little devils with their mothers and you're <laughs> going to see a lot of that oh okay uh, i kind of went into rehearsal you know well they it's they kind of copy every other show out there but yeah you know you know when um tom guy and Dele goes in and he tells us the people making the clothes like Ugh, yeah that's yeah awful why do you do that well i kind of do the same thing i go in and the choreographers are teaching a number, and I kind of go, "Ooh, are you sure about that angle?" Oh, Ooh, that's that a good addition. Off. So there's there's a whole lot more of Abby Lee. Yes, and we we love having a whole lot more of Abby Lee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the more, the merrier, and the better. Well, speaking of that, did you see Double Divas? I, I saw the commercial, which was really cute, but I didn't see the episode. I'm sorry. Don't hate Good. me. Why? No, I, I know. I'm, I'm so glad you didn't see it because 
I will be able to look at you in the face now. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have seen seen all that that arm fat and back fat, I would never have been able to look at you again. Now I will. Now I will say this, Abby, you got some tatas on you. I feel like that bra can probably probably be used as a parachute for somebody. That's a lot. That's a lot of 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 breasts. Can I say breasts, Marissa? I can say breasts. Yes. That's a lot of breasts you got on your chest, Abby Lee Miller. Well. Come on, you know John, John's a boob man. Mm-hmm. John gonna get lost though. <laughs> he gonna get lost in all that, Abby. Don't do that to him. <laughs> well, Abby, thank you so so much for calling in. I know the rest of the crew here are gonna hate that they miss this opportunity to um, to talk to you, but I'm glad I got it. So that's what you get for not arriving to work. And you leave somebody all by themselves. I get to talk to well, Abby Lee Miller. Well, Boom. next week. Are you doing this next week? Of course, we do it every week. Every every Thursday. Every Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Every Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I might I might just be there next week. Oh, now don't don't get us all hopeful and then not show up. What? No, no, I don't make promises I can't keep. Okay. I, it's, it, you know, my mom. My mom is not well. Right. But, oh, happy belated um, birthday to her. Thank you. And she's she looked amazing she, in the show. Oh, thank you. She's spunky and she's hanging in there. Yes. So I might be at the Teen Choice Boards. Okay. And if I am, I'm going to stay and I will come visit you because there's some of those people that work with you that that um, you know they like the wrong kid and they like the wrong mom. So I have to set them straight. Oh. <laughs> Abby Lee is gonna come in here and wreck shop. I'm gonna sit in the corner. I'm gonna be right. I'm gonna be right beside you. I'm gonna be very okay. much. I'm gonna be very much Melissa. I'm gonna be very okay, next good. to you. And whatever you say, I'm gonna nod my head and smile because I'm gonna end up at the top of the pyramid at the end of the show next week. All right. That's good. <laughs> All right, Abby. Well, thank you so much. You go and get you some rest, and hopefully we will see you right here in the studio next week with us. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, and we'll talk and see you soon. Bye. All right, bye. Yay, I got to talk to Abby Lee Miller. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so the show is almost over. So now I got to go through some things real quick and wrap this uh, thing up. But before I do that, make sure you visit SerialBuddies.com, um, a wonderful, hilarious film done by Maria Menudos and Kevin Undergardo, the uh, founders of AfterBuzz TV. Um, go support them. Um, watch the trailer on AfterBuzzTV.com go, and also watch it on SerialBuddies.com. Support it, love it, um, like it, share it. All right, so... Um, Last couple of things. I le I think I left off with uh, the quick meeting uh, with the other moms. Um, and I, I just don't understand why the moms are so bent on getting Kelly back. Kelly does not want to be there. Leave her in her lane. Um, I already mentioned that. I don't, after buzzers, tell me if you feel like um, Melissa, um, did Melissa stab Kelly in the back? Because I feel like Kelly is making this such a bigger issue. We all know that Kelly is very, very dramatic. Um, do you think that Melissa should have stepped up and said something when Abby told uh, Maddie uh, to do her solo survivor? Do you feel like um, Melissa stabbed Kelly in the back? So comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think so. I think that was Abby and Maddie's conversation. Maddie could have easily said, I don't want to do that. I don't think any parent would go, no, she's not doing that. Obviously, uh, Paige did not want to learn any new choreography. So let someone else have it. Um, so ba -ba -ba -ba, quickly going through. Um, so let's go to the competition in Orlando uh, with the solos. Uh, I thought Kendall uh, with her solo, I think she did a great job. I think she was very sassy as needed, and I think she's getting better. Although I feel like her movement uh, did not connect and flow as it should have. There were some times where I felt like she kind of stuttered a little bit. Um, but overall, I thought she did a good job. Nia, bless her heart, I know that she had so much pressure um, in having the tribute to Broadway Baby. Um, but she 
had a good time. She was fun. She was sassy. She did need to slow down a little bit. I felt like she didn't feel the music and let the the movements really flow. There were a couple of bent knees, classic Nia bent knees that I saw. Um, but I think overall, uh, she did a pretty good job. Uh, Chloe, I absolutely loved her solo. Her costume looked amazing. She looked amazing. She kept that fan in her hand because we all know the last time she dropped that hat, it was a wrap for for Chloe. Um, so I think she did such an amazing job. And that turn sequence was beautiful. I mean, it looked like someone had opened a jury box and just she was just there, just spinning. Amazing job. Uh, I thought the group dance uh, was great as well. Love the costumes. Um, I felt like some of the faces were a little forced um, as if like they were trying to feel this pain. And poor Maddie, she still had the same face. Um, Maddie found another face. Um, but overall, it did good. In the end, uh, Kendall, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Nia was fifth in the solo. I mean, Nia was ninth um, in the solo. Um, at least she made it to the top 10. So congratulations on that. Kendall was fifth. Um, Chloe was second, which I was hoping she got first. I have no idea why she didn't. Whoever that little girl was, congratulations to you. I felt like she should have been placed higher. And then um, the group dance received fourth place. Not a pretty good day in Orlando for, uh, for the Abby Lee Miller uh, company. But again, we don't know all of the other um uh dancers uh who are there um and then throughout this episode oh and then kelly showing up in orlando that's a lot of money to spend to just travel to support um that's a lot so kudos for going to support and the standoff between abby and kelly kelly you could have just walked around um, right now, you have chosen not to be a part of the Abby Lee Miller company. Although I do get it. I do understand that you've been on the team for years, so you still feel a part of the team. But you have currently left. Um, so technically, on a technicality, you are not a part of the team. After Buzzers, if you feel like she is a part of the team or isn't part of the team. Let me know. Comment below. Um, let me know whether you think um, Kelly is a part of the team. Also, let me know if you feel like Leslie is simply a replacement. You heard uh, what Abby said. I'm saying that she's a replacement. Um, and if Brooke and Paige wanted to come back, she uh, Leslie and Peyton would be gone. Um, so comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yes, Kelly, you could that standoff was too much. You could have just kudos for you for supporting kudos for you reminding leslie that you are temporary um and that in a few minutes you will get your seat back um and she can go have a seat somewhere else so kudos for that um, but that's a long way to go uh just to prove a point um but it's a good thing that you did come and and support your team as as you said um so kudos to that um and that was pretty much the gist of this episode of Dance Moms. The same fighting, Kelly still not there, um, Leslie desperately trying to keep Peyton on this team. Um, so we'll see what happens. And with that, let's go to news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. I ain't got no news. The <laughs> Um, as we mentioned earlier, um, Abby was on the episode of Double Divas, which uh, was right after Dance Moms. And as I just mentioned, that was a lot of breastlessness for them Double Divas to have to deal with. So make sure you check out the episode. You can go to my lifetime, I think TV.com and view that episode. If that's not right, Google Lifetime TV and find it and then have several seats and watch the episode. Also, don't forget, Abby's ultimate dance competition is coming up September 3rd. Make sure you support it. Make sure you love it. Um, support dance. Also remember tweet, uh, lifetime and dance moms. Let them know you want to see more of the dance. Um, do that support love all the kids at Abby Lee Miller company, uh, dance company. So let's go on to predictions. And now you're after buzz TV. I ain't got no predictions. No. <laughs> um, I predict 
that Kelly is going to try to come back, but she will not be welcomed with open arms. So it is going to be a battle to let Kelly back in. You walked out three times, Kelly, three times, three times too many. You can't do that. Um, I also predict the same bickering, fighting, and solo grabbing, pyramid climbing action that we have seen all past 31 episodes. Um, thank you guys. That has been your Dance Moms After Show right here at After Buzz TV. Thanks for hanging with me all by myself. Hopefully next week we will be joined by Abby Lee Miller herself and hopefully Giselle, Jason, and Chris get on MapQuest and find their way back into the studio. Thanks to Marissa for holding down uh, the studio in here with me. Thank you, Marissa. And uh, once again, I'm your host, Tony Moore. You can find me on all platforms um, at Lounging with Tony on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on my website, loungingwithtony.com. This season of Lounging with Tony, season four, is coming soon. So make sure you watch it. Take care, and we'll see you next Wednesday. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.